Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can change the style of the Power BI table. There are a couple of, uh, not actually couple of, there are multiple styles which are available and uh, you can actually access those styles from format. So this is, the, this is a simple table or this table which I have created using the field subcategory sales and profit so you have subcategory sales and profit now let's go to the format and try choosing a style and see what style is available so right now what we are seeing is the default style right where you have the title like this then rows which is alternate row is having a gray color and down there you have total along with these blue lines at the top and bottom all right, let's try to choose none. None will remove everything as you would expect and you are going to get the table without any formatting or any style. After that, you have the minimal style, which is like giving you a little bit of space in the rows, like a row padding or something. And uh, you are getting a very minimal style output. Then we choose the bold header. So now the bold header is enabled and nothing else has changed. So it's a combination of minimal and bold, bold header. Next is the alternate rows. What it does is nothing but color the alternate rows along with the title, uh, the bold title that we had done earlier. Then contrasting alternate rows. That's like a contrast, light gray and dark gray contrast and the borders are in black. After that, the next style is the flashy row. This is like the light blue and uh, flashy blue and the total is without any uh, much of a setting and same is the case with the header. Then you have the next style bold header flashy row which is as you would expect you have the bold header and the bold total and the flashy rows in between. The next slide or the next style is your sparse. I think this is the best one which I like personally. Uh, it, it has the bold header, the rows with minimal distraction and the good total output. And then finally the condensed which is like a very condensed table that you would expect in a traditional systems. I don't like that much. For me I think the best setting is either the bold header or the sparse. Right? But it is up to your personal style or personal requirement what style you want to choose based on the theme that you are setting it for your report and dashboard and accordingly you can get the out. But I wanted to show you before you put a lot of efforts in the coloring of the table you will see that some of the options are already available and you are utilizing that before spending a lot of time with other different types of settings with the background font or different type of color settings. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new tutorial.